Hey everybody, it's Dan Where are we? In California. California. Where are we at? Santa Cruz, California. We have a interesting ride we're on. Actually, Mommy and Dale are behind me. There they are. They're behind me. Because we can't ride together, only two at a time can ride in We're over here by the ocean on the big beach Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk all the rides on vacation June of 2022 Mommy and Dale and Daddy What time is it? Dale's Playtime. Where are you? The Keyboard. Yeah, you're at the Monterey yeah. Bay Aquarium, right? Yeah. Whoa. Look at all these giant jellies. I know. Wow. Let's see what else there is. Come on, you want to see what there's they more? Look huge. There's more. What do you think, Dale? Good. There's a shark, right there? And little fishes. And there's that one. There's the shark. Oh, it's wow. not shark, it's only just like that. Well, oh, here he comes. Hey, baby, come on. Now what I even think is better is actually the top view. 
view of this exhibit. Now I really wish I could take you folks all up to the top side and show you, but I do have the next best thing. So if you turn your attention to the monitors on either side, you can see a video of that top side. And it looks a little bit like a very, very large Olympic swimming pool. And we are really lucky today because we're actually going to be joined by one of my other amazing teammates, Haley, on the top side. Let's see if we can say hello to her. Hi, Haley. How are you doing today? Good morning, Skyler. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me okay? We definitely can hear you. Folks, can you give Haley a nice big wave and say hello? Oh, unfortunately, she actually can't see you. Sorry. But I'm sure you can feel the excitement coming up from us. Right, Haley? Most definitely. I can feel all the excitement all the way from up top on here. Amazing. Now, can you tell us a little bit of how we're going to kickstart off this meeting today? Maybe what we're going to start with? So we are going to be starting with target feeding our, dirty, our green sea turtles. So we have two on exhibit here, and we are going to be feeding them via a target feed. So over here, just to my right, we're going to have our animal care staff show a target to them, very similar to this one. And that's going to show almost like a dinner bell to them, so whoever is interested can go over for a bite. Perfect. It looks like we do still have our green sea turtles hanging out to the front side of the exhibit. So maybe they quite haven't seen that visual dinner bell quite yet. But I do see one other resident of the exhibit that looks ready for their target feed. Yeah, so that's going to be one of my favorite animals on the exhibit. It's going to be the sunfish or the mola mola. So just like the green sea turtles, they will also be driving a target for them to see if they can just say the garbage bite to eat as well. Amazing. We're getting a really good look at that. So it's right in the middle of the exhibit there. That round kind of disc-shaped, might I say awkward-looking fish is going up to that target there. And they're actually receiving their food. Now, we've talked about a few of the animals that we have in here. And I'm actually starting to see a little bit of the food for our sardines. Now, are they target trained as well? So that would be a little tough to grab in 10,000 little targets for all of our 10,000 sardines. So we are going to be doing a broadcast feed. So there's going to be two different waves of food that we will be throwing into the water. The first is going to be some pellets, almost essentially like kibble, more nutritional value. And then a second wave of food is going to hit the water. It's going to be a pink cloud. It's going to be some krill, which is a fan favorite of our sardines. It looks like we're sprinkling that in, and hopefully our sardines will catch a whip as they're kind of hanging out at the bottom side of the exhibit currently. Hopefully they will catch that uh, lovely smell of krill and pellets and join us here in just a few moments. But Haley, it looks like we're getting in on the action here. Will you be willing to join us after the feeding to help answer some questions? Absolutely. So just here in a moment, I'm going to head on down to chat with y'all and answer any questions. Amazing. Well, we will see you soon, Haley. Thank you so, so much. And so, folks, as we're seeing here, all of our sardines are taking just a little bit to kind of get the hint. So we saw that our mola mola, kind of right in the center of the exhibit there, you see that white target. And so we actually have one of our animal care staffs kind of stretched out over there, giving that mola mola their food at the target. And so we actually started to sprinkle in. You might have spotted the kind of cloud of some um, little pellets on the very center top of the exhibit there. And so that's what we were talking about. That is the kind of kickstart of our broadcast style. And there we go, right on top. Our sardines have definitely gotten the hint. And so we do in fact have 10,000 sardines in that school. And you folks might be curious how we know there are in fact 10,000 sardines in there. Well, we actually have an intern that counts them every single morning. <laughs> and our mola mola. These sardines are pretty much on the menu for all the other animals we have in this exhibit. And that's because here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium, we don't necessarily have a fish exhibit and a shark exhibit, but we like to exhibit entire ecosystems. And that means sometimes placing predator and prey is a very safe exhibit. So they really have to eat on the go. And so they actually are filter feeders. They have what we call gill rakers towards the back of their throats. Essentially, you can kind of picture a built-in pasta strainer. Now, these sardines will swim through the water with their mouth open, catch all those teeny tiny food particles in the gill breaker, and 
let the water wash over their gills. And so this way they're really able to keep eating on the go. Now you see that our mahi mahi, or our dolphin fish, are also getting pretty excited. And it's actually not because they're really looking for a snack, but they are very, very reactive fish. And so while we do, can't say we have no predation here at the aquarium, we can say we have pretty low predation. But hopefully those sardines are nimble enough this morning. And now you folks might be wondering, well, which one's the leader? And really all of them are the leader and none of them are the leader all at the same time. So now these sardines have what we call neural mass in their heads, which are actually little gel-filled pores. And this way we can actually sense the movements in the water surrounding them so they know which way their neighbor turns without even having to look at them. And so I always say that it feels great to stay in school. And so as we continue to kind of see our mahi mahi and even our yellowfin tuna, those football shaped fish, kind of get in on the action a little bit here. Now these are in fact visual predators, those big sport fish. And so these sardines are doing that schooling motion to look really confusing because if you were one of these yellowfin tuna or mahi mahi, you would need to keep your eye on one individual big fish while you're hunting. So I invite you folks to pretend to be your favorite, either a mahi mahi or a yellowfin tuna, and try and keep your eye on one individual sardine just for five seconds, all right? Five seconds, ready? All right, who still has their sardine? Yeah, exactly. It's really difficult. Like, oh, I got one. You have very good eyes. You think of really good mahi mahi. But as you folks can see, it gets pretty difficult, especially when all of our big sport fish, like those mahi mahi and yellowfin tuna, have some speed on their side. Now, what we'll see here in just a few moments is that we'll actually move to the other item on the menu for our schooling sardines. And it's going to look kind of like a pinkish cloud. And so that's actually going to be a big handful of teeny tiny shrimp like crustaceans called krill. Now, can anyone else think of any other maybe really large ocean animal that also eats krill? Ah, uh, smart audience today. I heard whales. And you folks are exactly correct. I always think it's so interesting to see that some of the smallest mammals in our ocean, all the way up to the largest, eat the exact same thing. So as our sardines do a really great job of cleaning up the water here, they'll eventually kind of drop down to the bottom of the exhibit when they feel nice and safe. But I do want to leave you folks with one message here. Now during the entire time of our feeding, our green tea turtles, Mola Mola, and our sardines actually consume the smart, sustainable seafood. And that's because here at the aquarium, we don't want seafood to be a dirty word. So sometimes it can feel a little weird as we're sitting here admiring our fish, while also kind of hoping they end up on our dinner plate later. But you know, here at the aquarium, we want to make sure that we can enjoy seafood just as smart consumers. And so we have this really amazing program we started called the Seafood Watch. Now essentially, we've taken all the hard work off of your shoulders. Hey everybody! It's Dad's Playtime! Playtime! Yay! Where are you? California! California on the coastal highway, right? Yeah! We're going to Pismo Beach. Yeah! We're on our way there. Right now we're at somewhere, Big Sur, California, by the ocean with Mommy and Dale and Daddy. And look at the view, everybody! Yeah, the ocean it. like it goes forever and it's white and there's houses way over there and mommy and dad are hanging out right yeah
What's that? Where you at, Dale? <laughs> I'm at the beach. You're at the beach? Like oh the my. Yeah. Oh, there's a big lighthouse way down there. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I Come on! Go down there. It's gonna come up. Dale, this way. <laughs> what do you think, Boo Boo? Is it good? Wait a minute, say cheese again. Cheese. Still on the wave rider, whoa. Going up on the wave rider, Santa Monica Pier. Bye, Dale. Whoa. Okay. 
We're at the Redondo Beach, California. Beautiful California. We have a pier. What is it, Boo Boo? You gotta take off your shirt? Yeah. Better take off your shirt. Mommy and Dale on the fishing trip. We're leaving the harbor. There's our Captain Jeremy. Say hi, Jeremy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 
YouTube. YouTube. Bye.